overflows all conflict will drop as love blossoms the moment love blossoms all kind of conflicts drop can you realize the depth of love the answer is no and one who has realized this will be silent his silent gestures will pronounce aesthetic beauty of love also the beauty fragrance and luster of love will manifest through his each action gesture and words or his life will be an expression of inner realization buddha called this karuna or compassion compassion is the butter that surface comes onto the surface of the milk life is oceanic and love is life more precisely love is the essence of life and it in itself love is oceanic one can realize its oceanic depth only by diving into this ocean from any point or action whatever the point you are standing whatever action you are performing that can take you deep within the ocean of love you will reach an abysmal depth there is nowhere else to go further the ultimate has come love has depth no height this is an altogether different matter that after realizing the depth one can soar to infinite height or even float on its surface when you feel no end no boundary how will you know about its depth someone further inquired and continued to give logic when you drown deeper and deeper flying through and you think this is the ultimate and then you see no it is not it is even more deep or high and when you realize this time after time again and again you will come to know it will go on because it has become a part of you what you what can you say about the depth of love other than it is infinite and what can be more beautiful than that indeed love is so its taste dumps you yes someone has said love is not thought or thinking love does not belong to the mind this is the reason that love has vanished from life and wars and conflicts have entered once inner lamp of awakening is lit there is awakening in that light of awakening itself flowers blossom and life becomes beautiful god then you realize love cannot be part of you and certainly love is not part of you love is vast and your entire existence or your existence is love is vast and your existence is finite you can drown in love be love an atom of love 
or its nucleus, but love can never become a part of you. It can become the very fragrance of you, the very radiance, the very aura around you. But society does not allow such or uh, any kind of love because if a person is really in deep love, he cannot be manipulated. You cannot send him to war. He will say, I am so happy. Where are you sending me and why? Why should I go and kill strangers who may be happy in their homes and we have no conflict, no clash of interest with them? If the young generation moves deeper and deeper in love, wars and conflicts will disappear because you will not be able to find enough mad people to go to the war or enter into conflict. If you love, you have tasted something of life, the nectar of life. You would not like death or killing people. When you don't love, you have not tasted something of life, you will cherish death in many forms. Fear kills and wants to kill. Absence of love brings fear. Fear is destructive and love is creative energy. When you love, you would like to create you may like to sing a song or paint or create poetry, but you would not take an atom or a bonnet or a bomb and go on rushing off madly to kill people who are absolutely unknown to you, who have done nothing, who are as unknown to you as you are unknown to them. But in the absence of love, this is happening. The world will drop conflicts and wars only when love enters the world once again, politicians did not want you to love. The society does not want you to love, although they pretend. The family does not allow you to love. They all want to control your love energy because that is the only energy there is that is the, and by controlling that energy, you are controlling the person. It is like the love energy is like a bird that has been put into a golden cage, stud with precious gems, but it wants to be free, to soar in infinite sky. If you understand me well, drop all fears, be more loving, love more, and love unconditionally. Love can express itself in many ways, through gestures, through a simple act, in myriad ways, you will know its multi-dimensions and do not think that you are doing something for the other when you love. You should be thankful and grateful that other has 
accepted your love or what you want to share the other has accepted it and there is a satiation of a different kind that you have never experienced before you can experience this on a day-to-day -day basis or a moment-to-moment -moment basis let this be your way of life and living a new meaning will arise you are doing you are not doing anything great a flower is never concerned with what it is sharing its sharing is unconditional as long as it is its beauty fragrance and luster is there it does not contain in itself it shares an awakened one does not contain the light the flowering that he is for any reason the more it shares the more it radiates the more it grows because a continuous nourishment itself love is nourishment onto itself the more you share love the more you feel nourished and nurtured the more you want to share and those who have experienced it even a bit of this they will realize the more they share the more happy they feel the more they feel to share more and more with people when you love it is beneficial to you so don't wait do not say that when others will love you only then you will love that is not the point at all that is not the way love is shared be selfish love is selfish love people you will be fulfilled through this sharing there is nothing more fulfilling satiating than sharing you will be getting more and more blessedness through this sharing and when love goes deeper fear disappears conflicts disappear love is light fear is dark this allow this light to radiate through your each action gesture word or anything in life enough for now